Rose family, it's your girl Serenity so Rose, and we're back with another video. And as you guys can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing my boxy charm base box unboxing. I completely forgot to film my intro, so my bad. I'm currently in the process of reorganizing my room once again. Ugh, such a process. I feel like this is not something you should be doing when you're like nine months pregnant or eight months or whatever 37 weeks is. Cause that's where I'm at now, 37 weeks. So less than 16 days, my C-section is scheduled. So yeah. So if you wanna see how I got this look using the products in my BoxyCharm, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing that I see in the box is from Tristique. This is their Summer Glow and Go set. This retails for $42 and it looks like you get four shades of some sort of type of stuff so it says you get a mini highlight a mini blush a mini shadow crayon and a mini brow pencil that's pretty cool the next thing in the box is from sf glow this says glam in paradise cannabis sativa three-piece mask set this retails for 18 dollars which means each mask will be like six bucks each it says that it's a gold foil mask infused with cannabis sativa seed oil. Can't wait to try those before I go to sleep. And they are vegan. It says it right there. Next product was the choice item that I chose. I chose the Pharmacy Cheer Up Brightening Vitamin C Eye Cream. And this retails for $45. I love a good eye cream. I'm currently working through two, so I don't know if I'm going to really try this in today's video i might like smell it or something but there's that the next product is from laura geller it looks to be a mascara so this is the lash boss bold mascara in black and this retails for 24 dollars can never go wrong with the mascara i'm hoping this is full size so it definitely looks like it's a full size mascara so i'm super excited to try that the brush tip looks really promising and then the last product is from alamar cosmetics this is the eyeshadow palette this is their spanglish pressed pigment palette it has eight shadows in it and it retails for 28 dollars it does come with a nice sized mirror and these shades are super pretty you can definitely create an everyday look with these like four shades right here and you have pops of purple and pink so i like that so let's get right into the try on portion i'm probably going to prime my eyelids and then i will be right back with the eyeshadow actually before i prime my lids i'm going to use the tristique brow crayon thing i'm pretty sure i got this in ipsy before and i hated it so we're going to try the brow pencil from the little set if i remember correctly this product was super dry my brows are done but i could add a little more color i guess You gotta put a lot of pressure onto this product. I don't like it. Mm -mm. And I don't like the triangular shape to it either. So that's a pass for me. Okay, so I primed my eyes and now we're gonna go into the Alamar Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. So what I think I want to do is take the shade called Ha Ha Ha, I'm assuming. is It's spelled with a J, like Ja Ja Ja, but I'm pretty sure in Spanish is Ha Ha Ha. So this shade right here, and I'm just going to apply that in the crease. There's quite a bit of kick up, I can tell you right now. Ooh, this is a pretty crease shade really nice and pigmented and it is blending out like a dream so then i'm going to take the shade called ponte hyper and i'm hispanic so saying this stuff is like natural to me so is this pink shade right here i'm gonna put that on the outer corner and i'm gonna say right now i love the name <laughs> ponte hyper <laughs> that's such like a spanish thing to say like ponte hyper <laughs> oh 
Oh, that's a pretty. It looks really like neon purple on the palette, but it's showing up like bubblegum pink on the eyelid, which I don't mind. Okay, so I'm gonna just guys a little bit closer. I know I look a bit rough, but you know, that's the use. So I did cut the crease and packed on the shade on this side. So what I'm gonna do now, which is this shade right here, and I'm just gonna pack that where I put the concealer using a flat brush, as you can see. This is the Morphe M124 brush. That's a pretty mauvey pinky shade. So I'm just gonna go back into that first transition shade because I feel like we definitely lost it with all the pink and purple and just throw it back in the crease. Okay, so I'm gonna do winged liner and then I will come back with the Laura Geller mascara. Of course, when I first record, you wanna hear loud motorcycles and stuff. Okay, so wing liner is on and as even and close to each other as they're going to get. So now we're going to take the Laura Gala New York uh, mascara and see what this bad boy is all about. So the brush is quite fluffy. Right away, I can tell you that I don't really feel like it's gripping onto my lashes as good as it could be but it is coating them it's not really doing much for them though so I'm very concerned about the price point <laughs> okay it is giving them a little bit a volume nothing too crazy definitely not gonna be a favorite i can tell you that right away so that's the mascara applied what i'm gonna do now is do the base and we do have the cream blush and highlighter stick and i am gonna just swatch the shadow crayon for you which is in Tahit Tahitian shimmer since I didn't use it on my lid it is a quite odd color it looks really cool toned but that is what it looks like it's like a brownie greeny gold shimmer shift type of color so I'm gonna do my uh like foundation concealer and all that and then come back with the bronzer is that a bronzer or blush and highlight stick okay so i know i look crazy trust me it'll come together um so now we're gonna go in with the tristique mini blush stick in moroccan rose which looks like that quite rosy and i have not set my face so i guess i'll just apply some right there and then blend it out okay it definitely picked up some of my foundation i don't like that i should probably apply it to a brush and then my face i'm gonna use my bronzer slash foundation brush and just press it in and it's like it disappeared <laughs> I mean, you can still see it a little bit. So I guess it's 
an okay product. So now we're going to take the mini highlight stick and this is in Maldives Luminescent. And let's do a little swatch of this. Oh, that is quite icy. Um, I guess I'm just going to apply it straight to the face. Okay, that's just lifting my foundation. So I'm just going to apply some to my finger and um, see if that works. That seems to work a little bit better. Okay, I definitely want too low here. Okay, so I'm going to set my face. And I think I tried everything that I can try in today's video. And I will come back with my final thoughts. Okay, so this is the completed look. Um, as far as the lower lash line, I just did everything I did on the top. And I used the same mascara on the lower lashes. So let's get into my final thoughts on everything. Okay, first, I didn't get to try this from Pharmacy. But I'm sure I'm going to love it. Because it's an eye cream. Who doesn't love skincare? And I also didn't get to try the sheet mask from sf glam if i'm not mistaken is the brand but again i love skincare so yeah i will keep you guys posted if i remember in the description bar i didn't add falsies just so you guys can see like what the mascara does from laura geller i personally i think it's okay it's nothing too spectacular you know nothing too crazy um i think it did give my lashes a nice amount of volume but that is about it. Nothing like no curl or anything. Um, and I did have to build it up quite a bit. My hair does not want to cooperate with me. But overall, the mascara was okay. Would I spend my own quaint on this? Probably not. The little quad of Tristy products. I'm going to be completely honest. It's like a 50-50 for me. I don't really like the brow pencil. Um, I didn't get to try the shimmer, but I don't really like the shade. The highlight stick was removing my product. The only thing that I really liked was the uh, blush stick. And yeah, so technically it's not even 50-50. It's like 25-75. <laughs> so this was kind of a miss for me, but I guess, you know, to each his own. Maybe you like it. I don't know. I personally don't like it. But again, I don't know. Whatever. And the last product which made the box for me is the Spanglish palette from Olimar Cosmetics. I love the packaging. I love the lavender and I love the heart shaped earrings. I love all the shades in here so I don't get to play with all of them. Um, I did throw this shade on the inner corner which is really really pretty. I didn't put too much because I'm not doing anything so you know I don't want to go too crazy. But... Yeah, I love how everything blended out. They do have quite a bit of kick up, but I mean, they're pigmented, so I don't mind. Just a note for you guys if you don't like kick up or, you know, powdery sh powdery shadows, then just keep that in mind. But overall, they blended out really nicely. I like the look. I love the pink and purple. And honestly, this is a really nice crease shade. I probably use this in the crease as well. Um, and the shimmers are really pretty. Let me do a swatch of Deanna Swing, which is this shade right here. The shimmer seems to be quite pigmented. Like, that is super pretty. It has, like, specks of purple, blue glitter in it. Really, really pretty. I guess I could swatch Edis on Show, which is this shade right here as well. I didn't really get anything on that. These are like really, really pretty fairy type of colors to me. But overall, I really like the palette. And I think that is my favorite product from the box. So with that being said, that brings this video to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below what you guys got in your BoxyCharm. If you get BoxyCharm, drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go. I'd love to have you guys join the Rose family before you go. And I hope you guys are staying safe, staying blessed, and having an amazing day or night wherever you guys are. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Yeah.